Newton's method is a root-finding algorithm based on the idea of linearization. Let's take a look at it. Suppose that we have a function and we want to find a root of that function. We start Newton's method with a guess. The root could looks like it's somewhere around here. So let's say we use this as our guess. Well, this guess gives us a point on the curve, and we can approximate the curve using this point and the idea of linearization. We then use this linearization to generate a new guess. Once we have the new guess, we go down here, we create another linearization. We use that to create a third guess. We go up here to this point, we linearize, we use that to create a fourth guess. And you see that our guesses are getting closer and closer to this root. So what we're doing is we're creating a list of values. And hopefully, this list of values is approaching the root we are looking for. Newton's method is a very old root finding method. I mean, it's named after its inventor. Newt Isaac Newton stated it to give you some idea of how far back this goes. But it's still extremely powerful and used today. Let's now find the algorithm for Newton's method. We have the curve and we have our guess, which we'll call x sub zero. And if we linearize, here is x sub 1. And this is on the axis. So it's the point x sub 1 comma 0. This is the point x sub 0 comma f of x sub zero. This line is the linearization. So y minus f of x sub zero equals f prime of x sub zero times x minus x sub zero. 
this point x1 zero is a point on the line. So we'll let x be x1 and y be zero. And we get negative f of x sub zero. I mean, this y is a zero, it goes away equals f prime of x sub zero times x one minus x sub zero. And now we are going to solve for x one. We'll divide both sides by the derivative to get rid of that, and then we'll add x sub zero. So here's x one. Once you found x one, you repeat this argument to find x2. x2 is x1 minus f of x1 over f prime of x1. And in general, x sub n plus one is x sub n minus f of x sub n divided by f prime of x sub n. We'll look at an example in a second video. Yeah. <laughs>